Okay, option here shows a stop clock that measure time. And option B shows a thermometer that measures temperature. Option C measuring cylinder that measures volume. For option D is a Newton meter that measures the weight or the force. Okay, time, volume, as well as temperature, they are all scalar. And force and weight is a vector. So the answer should be D. To measure the circumference of a golf ball, you need the instrument to be able to go around the golf ball. For calipers and micrometer, you can only measure the diameter. So they are not the answer. For option C, meter rule. Okay, meter rule is used to measure objects that are straight. Okay, so we are left with uh, option D, which is the tape. The tape is able to go around the golf ball to measure the circumference directly. Okay, to answer this question, we have to understand that an oscillation consists of the movement from x to y, y back to x, and from x to the other extreme, and back to x. So, from x to y is actually one quarter of an oscillation. So the period which is time taken for one oscillation it will be 1.5 seconds multiplied by 4. This will be 6 seconds. And to find out how many complete periods are there in a minute, we will just take 60 seconds which is 1 minute divided by 6 seconds. That will give us 10 complete periods. So that will be answer B. For the distance time graph, the gradient will give us the speed of the car. So how do we prove it? Gradient is equal to the rise over run and the rise is indicated by distance and the run is represented by time. So you take distance divided by time, this is actually the formula for speed. So to find the speed of the car, we will look at the gradient of the line. Okay, to find the acceleration of the car, we can find the gradient of the speed time graph. So to find the gradient, we need to identify two coordinates. So I'll take the first point and the last point. First point coordinate will be 0, 10. The second point will be 5, 30. So use the formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 it will be 30 minus 10 divided by 5 minus 0. So we will get 20 divided by 5. The answer will be 4 meter per second squared. Answer A.